crossing the mighty Mississippi. First time crossing the Mississippi. Welcome to Texas. Well, while in Texas, my very first water burger. Not a bad hamburger, but it's got mustard on it. I'm not the biggest fan of mustard, but it's good. So you may be wondering, how did we wind up in Houston from New Orleans when we were in Jacksonville after being in Miami? Well, when we were in Cozumel, COVID-19 started kicking off and we had this big bag of scuba diving gear that we don't usually travel with. So we sent up with a friend, up to Houston, to where one of my oldest friends in the world lives, and we spun by Houston to pick up our dive bag. There you go. Well, we're back on the road. Houston was wonderful, and our friends are amazing. And also camera shy. Uh, yeah, camera shy. Okay. Why are we going to Arkansas? Because there is a, one of the towns says hot springs. They're closed down, but this is like fun. <laughs> It's all about the journey. Welcome to Arkansas. Arkansas is pretty. It's very pretty. We're in Arkansas in Hot Springs National Park. Really small for a national park, but there's some great little hiking trails around here and a really nice viewpoint. You can drive up, but this view is definitely worth the walk. Gorgeous little taste of Arkansas. Wow. It would really be neat to visit this area when all the bathhouses and stuff were open, because that's what it's famous for. But we kind of like being alone out in the woods anyways. There's miles of hiking trails that start right here in downtown. You can explore historic bathhouse row on the trails right behind. I see lilacs. <laughs> That's not the smell. Where is it? <laughs> Walking past above the bathhouses is beautiful. The town is really quiet at the moment. It's peaceful. Well, this little town of Hot Springs is definitely worth a visit. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. It's beautiful here. We are doing something for the first time in our travel lives. We are driving. Hey, we just made it to Tennessee. Woohoo! Welcome to Tennessee. We're driving and we have no idea where we're staying or where we're going tonight. Hey, there's a huge pro rat shop. <laughs> we're still driving through Tennessee. Very green. What'd you think it? Western Tennessee. Aww. Might not need to go back to Western Tennessee. No. Maybe we do need to go back and get a better uh, better view. Pretty uh, pretty rough, but uh, it's getting pretty now that we're getting more into some stop by some Civil War battlegrounds. Yeah, we got to see a tank on the not tank. What was it? Uh, yeah. Cannon. Cannon. Yeah, tanks in the Civil War. <laughs> what? On to Nashville. See if we see anything interesting. This it, is cool. Have it all to ourselves. Yep. It's beautiful. I'm surprised it's right next to a mall. I, I was a little surprised at that too. 
Bass Pro Shops is open, but the Grand Old Opry's closed. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Pointing at Reba, not Darius Rucker, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe I'll come back and she'll be here when it's open. <laughs> they really know how to do rest areas in Tennessee. Oh man, this is a crazy ass huge bee. Bees in Tennessee. Oh, wow. Lots of bees. No murder hornets. <laughs> Getting our workout on the walk up to the restroom here. I know. And you get a little history lesson. East Tennessee gets a thumbs up for rest areas. Well, we ended up in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And they even have rocking chairs. The first thing on the list is to find some food. Believe it or not. Gatlinburg is just gorgeous. I've been wanting to try these. After lunch, this is a must. This place has funnel cakes and Indian food. What a combination. I'm gonna have to try these. I gotta see this place. Even though we don't have a kitchen. She still loves kitchen shops. This place is really cute. A little bit of everything. Donuts, hot sauce. Cheese, coffee. <laughs> This place is huge, it's just keep going and going. I have looked through tons of places and to find a toufet and they're all closed. And I'm hangry, I need the food and I want to get toufet. Nothing else sounds good. Damn you, New Orleans Sandwich Company. You betrayed us. It always comes back to Mexican food. I really like Paula Deen. I've got to go in here. Sitting here in Gatlinburg, watching the budgeteers. Our exciting life. Good morning from Gatlinburg. It's beautiful here. So, it snowed last night. I knew it was cold. <laughs> we, we gotta go. Gorgeous town. Definitely come to Gatlinburg if you get a chance. And we are back on the road towards Virginia. My very first time at Chick-fil-A, and there's a double line. Ooh. The fries are like, what are these called? Waffle fries. Waffle fries. Oh, you good fries. You're now an official Southern Belle. Mm. Here's a good. I got the chicken sandwich. Heard it raved about, or heard about on the news. Really good. Heard about that sandwich on the news, did you? Uh -huh. They ran out of it. Oh. <gasps> My nuggets. Chris's nuggets. Now I'm gonna eat. Bye. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs>